Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. I don't think I've ever filmed one of these videos before, even though it is like a really commonly asked question. So today I just thought I'd show you my self tan routine, how I get a flawless fake tan 99% of the time. Nobody's perfect. I am a bit of a self tan a holic to be honest i'm not one for sitting out in the sun i don't like i'm just not a sun worshiper i'm really like pro looking after my skin anti-aging skincare that's my jam so yeah i'm not really one for getting a natural tan so my go-to is a self tan so i've been self tanning now for years i want to say since i was about 15 16 at school I've used a lot on the market so yeah i'm just going to show you a few little tips and tricks that i've picked up along the way and hopefully you can learn a few things as well just a little disclaimer as well i'm not saying there's anything wrong with embracing your natural paler complexion just for me personally i enjoy having a tan i just think i look a little bit more healthier with a tan um and yeah and as i said i've been doing it for years now so when i see myself without a tan I feel like I don't look like me. That being said, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna work a little bit backwards. I'm gonna start off with tan removal. Kind of tan removal, but basically prepping your skin for a tan. Because honestly, I do genuinely believe this is one of the most important parts of tanning. If you skip this stage, your tan is gonna look crusty, dry, horrible. It's not gonna last. My favorite way for removing old fake tan or just prepping the skin for new fake tan is having a bath. I just feel like when you can soak in a bath, it kind of loosens, loosens all like the old tan away. Um, you can have a proper good soak. I just personally prefer to have a bath. And one of my biggest tips is to use a bath oil. So an oil will really help break down any excess tan or, you know, those really hard to like scrub off areas like around your ankles, your hands sometimes, you know, when it clings to like dry patches, a bath oil will really, really help. So one of my favorite bath oils to use is from Neom. This is honestly one of my favourites. It smells incredible. It's the kind of bath oil where you'll get out the bath and your whole bathroom will just smell incredible for days and days and days. Honestly, it's my fave. Second tip, you need to use an exfoliating mitt. So I personally prefer the ones that are actually like a glove. So not the big round mitts. They are literally like shaped like your hand as a glove is, obviously. And I personally prefer those for scrubbing off your tan. So what I tend to do is I like to soak in the bath for at least like 10 minutes, let all like the old tan get a bit loose and then just give myself a good old scrub. So scrubbing all like the dry areas, like your knees, your ankles and your feet just to make sure there's no dead skin, old crusty tan. You want to get it all off and feel fresh, ready for your new tan. Also, another tip that I forgot to mention is that when it comes to shaving, I tend to shave the night before I apply tan or at least like five or six hours before I apply tan. Reason being is if you shave and then put tan on instantly, it's gonna go into like all your little pores and your hair follicles. And it's just gonna look like you've got a lot of tanned dots all over your legs and things like that. Not a pretty look. So yeah, I'd advise leaving a bit of time. Another tip from me is if you are gonna have a bath or a shower, don't apply your tan straight away when you get out. Basically when you have a shower or a bath, all of your pores open up because of like the warm water and the steam. And if you fake tan during this point, all that's gonna happen is the tan is just gonna go straight into your pores, clog your pores. You can have lots of like tanned little dotted pore pores all over your skin. So yeah, just give it a little bit of time after you've had a bath or a shower. Don't go in straight away with a fake tan. Also after showering, don't apply any moisturizers or anything to your body. All this is gonna do is create a barrier between the tan and your skin. So what will happen is you'll put all your moisturizer on, all of your tan, you'll wash your tan off and it will all just come off or at least it won't be as rich in colour as it's supposed to be. So yeah, lay off the moisturiser until it's time to tan. So now you're ready to actually apply your tan. First things first, top tip from me, moisturise your dry areas. So places like your armpit, I can sometimes get like dry at the front of my armpit. I don't know if that's just me, but I tend to moisturise like my armpits, 
elbows, a really thick coating and moisturiser on my hands, knees, feet, just the areas that tan tends to cling to more. And if you're not careful, self-tan will just send those areas uber uber dark and then that's a dead giveaway that your tan isn't really real any moisturizer will do for this honestly i just like big thick creamy moisturizers that really do create a little bit of a barrier between your skin and the tan so the tan i've been loving recently is from barley body in the shade dark so this is what it looks like if you just want a light color you can wash this off just after an hour or for a darker color leave it two to three hours honestly with all tans I always leave them longer than it recommends because I do like a good colour payoff. So yeah, I either sleep in it or I put it on in the morning and then I'll shower it off um, in the evening. And then I always apply it with a mitt. So here is the Barley Body Mitt, just like a big fingerless glove to be honest. Really good for creating a nice streak-free tan. The thing I really love about this tan as well is it is honestly, when, I, when it says it's streak-free, it actually is streak-free. You don't get any weird marks or anything like that. I love it, absolute game changer. Anyway, I go in and do my tan. So if I'm doing like a full body tan, I usually tend to do my upper body first and I leave out my hands and I leave out my feet. So I do my upper body, then I do my legs, and then I do my feet with just the excess that's left on the glove. I tend to do my stomach last because if you're like kind of bending up and down, you don't want to create rolls on your belly and then you'll have like lines where the tan hasn't quite stuck to it properly. So yeah, I tend to do my belly last. And then just as another little tip, or trick I know doing hands can be um, a little bit tricky sometimes and if you tend to rush over them with a mitt sometimes it just doesn't quite sit right so one of my top tips for applying tan on your hands is to use an old makeup brush you want to make sure it's quite a fluffy brush you don't want it too dense or too um, small and then I basically make like a claw shape with my fingers like this and go round it with a brush and honestly you just it's a game changer try it trust me it is the one and then when it comes to the face i don't use body self tans on my face and my skin is quite sensitive it can be prone to breakouts if i use something like too heavy on my skin so the problem is with body tans is that they are thick and they are designed for your body so the product i swear by is the barley body gradual face tan and it's actually um, it's basically a moisturizer so one of the most effective ways for tanning your face is to mix your tan in with the moisturizer which is what the barley body gradual face tan is you use it the same way you would any other moisturizer and the color just builds gradually over time which is good because you know with how often i mean i don't know about you but i am just cleansing my face all the time so my face always tends to be a little bit paler than my body so it's just a really good way to keep on top of your face tan keep it looking natural it, it's buildable so the gradual face tan is packed with skincare ingredients as well so as i said it can replace your normal moisturizer i've popped in a little clip of me applying it just so you can see my face without any tan any product at all so you can see kind of like the difference in color and then when it's time to shower off your tan girls if you're anything like me i usually have my showers as hot as lava when it comes to showering your tan off don't just have a barely warm shower like literally lukewarm shower which with the weather we've been having recently shouldn't be too much trouble i don't like wash my hair or do anything like that when i have these kind of showers i'm literally in quick light wash and i'm out and then when you're out of the shower, just pat yourself dry really gently with a towel. Don't scrub. You might scrub bits of your tan off. Just pat dry and then just wait until you're dry. And then this is usually what my body looks like after showering the tan off. So you can kind of see here, I'll pop in a little side by side so you can see the difference. And then the difference in my face as well. I just feel like the gradual face tan just makes my face feel just alive <laughs> as weird as that sounds but yeah i really really love it and then when it comes to maintaining your tan it's just as important as applying it in my opinion a lot of the time if you just leave your tan and don't um sort of like do any maintenance for it that's when you'll find that tanning can be a little bit drying on your skin that's when it can fade a little odd or a little patchy one thing i'll say about the barley body tan it, it is really resistant against that however i would still recommend with any tan moisturizing your body daily the more moisturized your body is obviously the less <laughs> 
dry it is so the tan won't cling to dry areas it won't fade weird and also if you do keep your body moisturized it just preps it and makes it easier to remove when you're ready to take your tan off and start this whole process again so always keeping the next step in mind definitely moisturize your body and you just look healthier when you moisturize your body anyway you know your skin is like glowing from within so yeah definitely moisturize when you've applied your tan and that is it guys that is all my little self tanning tips and tricks really hope you enjoyed that video please do remember to like and subscribe that would mean the world but as always guys i'll see you in the next one bye